Hello, my fierce art family. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Elizabeth, and this video I decided to still upload it, even though I have filmed this way back July 25, 2022, and that is before the semester begins for autumn 2022, wherein I took up the fashion design, fashion illustration course, and these are the items that I have used. But as I grow as an artist, as I have um, discovered the passion for watercolors, there's a lot more things that uh, are added down the line. And you can view that or you can watch it on my recent upload, which is called my watercolor collection. And I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> going back to school and I am going to take a lot of um, fashion illustration, fashion courses, and art courses. Yes, all right, fashion design in general. So yeah, these are items like an entire big haul. A lot of them were actually given to me, um, which I just showed here also. And a lot of these I just recently bought. So I just wanted to like show them to you because I know myself. I will not have time to film them all one by one. So um, yeah, I am going to start showing you the items that were given to me. So long time ago, on one of my birthdays, two years, three years ago, I got this ones. And these are the super awesome and um, highly recommended by both um, beginner artists and professional artists and these are the oh my god they're upside down the daniel smith watercolors and they are in tubes so i bought the one on a tin can also and i will do an explanation later on so yeah this was given to me and I'm just super happy and super lucky and now I can finally appreciate it more before I really loved it but now I was like feeling much more lucky. This is also given to me as a gift for my birthday this year 2022 and this is Brevilliers Creta Color and this is the Urban Sketching Set and this has a lot of things inside. I was thinking I will create a dedicated video for this one instead but to just give you a brief this is how it looks. Very pretty. It's super amazing and um, this one is from Austria. It says right there. So very um, non-toxic ecological and uh, no rainforest wood so very eco-friendly set all right so you open it from the top like so and then there's so many items so many different um pencils and yeah just awesome and then calligraphy and then we even have some black liner here fine pens all of them are listed right here and yeah I, I think this deserves a separate video so i'm just gonna do a different one so just stay tuned for that hopefully i will do that soon at the back um i bought this uh sketchbook and this is my recent sketch <laughs> i'm not super proud of that but i hope you like it and then um the this one too yeah i this is also a gift to me with the same person and um thank you so much mom for this and this is from like two three years ago also a very awesome one this is from germany instead it says somewhere right there there you go and just uh it's a small one which is perfect for traveling for doing landscapes and yeah very awesome it even has like um a part here so you can mark where you have recently used this book and i am super excited to finally get to use this it's been years but yeah finally um something that i bought recently i had two of these now for a block um this is very very cheap affordable i got this from tiger and yeah, yeah well tiger is from denmark but this one is made in china as they say right there and then the three items that we're going to talk about are these three. And I'm super excited to go ahead and 
unwrap them, unbox them, and talk about them today. First item to talk about this unboxing haul, because the other ones I just really wanted to show them as part of the haul, but this is really what I have to unwrap um, because I need to use them. And this is Princeton Art and Brush Co. Real Value Brush Selection. So it's a brush set and it's the basics from Princeton and um, I have been watching a lot of videos and I was a member of or I am still a member of Facebook groups about some um, arts and watercolor mostly and a lot of them have recommended this brand Princeton but um, I wanted to try it first and uh, yeah so I have been a brush lover coming from my background as a makeup artist. I have bazillions of brush sets, way too many that a person could ever, like a person could ever need. But yeah, so I started with this one. All right, so that's how it is at the back. I got this from Amazon and it says synthetic hair, golden taclon. And then the brushes are right here. Okay, so... I would grab this from the back, like so. Oi. All right. And then. Aha. Uh -huh. It's like this. All right. So the first brush right here, it says it's the number one round. And I just thought this says here you can use it for acrylic, watercolor, and tempera. So there, number one is round. And then number one is right here and the smaller the number is the smaller the brush is also oh, how was it ah all right it's like this there's like a tape at the back so this one or are they're protected with this plastic but let's just remove that anyway all right this is how the number one looks like and i love this pointy brushes i use this quite a lot especially for detailed works and then doing some branches some stems the trunk of the tree and um yeah just basically lining out the drawing that's why i used that four and then the number two could be used for leaves there you go so this one says number two, liner, Princeton Art and Brush Go. This way it says right there. So this is not a hefty brush. It's lightweight. Number two is, yeah, a liner. This is what it says right there. And then we have, where should I go next? Number six. Number six brush is called another round, but a bigger one than, of course, the number one. So this is how it looks. I like to do videos like this because I myself, I'm the kind of person who like before I buy things, I wanted to see how they look on a video and yeah, basically what people's thoughts about them. This is another one right here and this is the one and a half inches it's just, it's called a angle shader there you go angle shader uh i i use this for like the stuff right here especially when i'm doing the roads and stuff like that or can easily like do shading on bigger surface like so I mean, that's for me, but of course, there's a lot of uses for that brush too. You can also use this brush number 12 for the same thing that I mentioned earlier. Especially when I'm doing the sky, I wanted to use this type of brush number 12, which is another round, but a bigger round. It goes like this. And it's easier and faster because it can color a bigger surface. And then lastly, I have the one right here, which is called three-fourths or three-four inches. And this is called the wash. And yeah, you can use this for sky as well. And of course, other things. 
and once again this is all of them super beautiful they're lightweight and yeah i will have to try them to let you know what i think about them so there should be a follow-up video about these brushes so yeah they're beautiful all right, for yourself. So before I move on to these two main events that I'm super excited about, I'm going to go to um, this one, which is like a beginner level or a student grade um, type of watercolor that I got from Amazon. And this is the Superior 42 Colors watercolor. It comes with a water brush. And I just recently used this with um, several uh, trial artworks, sketches, and I even swatched it right here. And I did uh, an artwork using this one. So it has 42 colors. It's quite nice. It's quite decent for the price. Um, very different from some or like another palette that was gifted to me. And um, that was, I will show you on a different video. Um, but yeah, this one, really, really okay. Um, I'm just not sure because they didn't have any information about light fast and um, uh, things like that. And the uh, components and the um, ingredients of this one were not disclosed. I don't know, or maybe it's there, but like, yeah, seriously, there's not, no other information. But yeah, all of those are here. I just like have misplaced this too but yeah that's how it looks and that is a sample painting of this one so for those who are not really um doing paintings for commission and just uh will be scanning their works anyway then could probably grab this one because it's a good one for traveling another item that i wanted to just quickly show you on this huge haul is this one the watercolorist's answer book has 425 tips techniques and solutions by edited by gina rath and yeah so it's just like that yeah so it looks like so so many steps i haven't um done in depth with this but i'm grabbing some tips about this one so if you wanted to see a book review or like a flip through of this book like a slower one then let me know because uh, maybe it will be a helpful book for you also some of them i find a little bit um challenging to understand so i have to accompany it with some youtube videos but yeah quite helpful also right there Thanks, mom, for this. All right, I thought that I'm going to do a separate video and said, but no, I'm going to show you everything. <laughs> so this is the palette that I was telling you earlier, the one that I used to um, sketch this one right here. And it comes in this um, cute pouch. This was given to me as a birthday gift by my cousin. And I think she got this from um, maybe like Shopee or Lazada in the Philippines. And this is called the uh, Giorgioni 36 Colors Solid Watercolor Paint Set and Pigment. Alright, so that's how it looks. It has a very nice tin can right there. And um, this has a lot inside of the packaging. So it goes like this. So like I did a very poor swatch right there of, of it. But it's like not a super cool paper, just like a regular sketch pad paper this one and this is how it looks as you see it's already used so it has a lot of things here a sponge water brush sharpener and there's the round brush right there and then there is a pencil right here which is a 2b so i number them from 1 to 36 there are uh, actually like more stuff but i put them underneath since i'm not using it so there's like a watercolor paper right here which is a 21 by 21 centimeters and the thickness is only 1.90 grams and the recommended one was um no less than a hundred oh 300 grams for uh better painting for professional artists that's what they recommend so this is brand introduction yada yada, yada and um it says that we also have established long-term business relationships with over 
a thousand local wholesalers and yeah so much more but there's just a timeline right there so th they're quite generous um i try this and you see how it looks like on on um a test paint right here but um yeah i will just do a separate review about this one this is uh not a professional one but it's very pretty colors very nice for um for kids or like for just using it in like um grade school some art projects in school yeah but it's nonetheless it's just super cute two more things that are gifted to me on my birthday are these two things from fabric castell and we know that this is a lovely brand for artists and um it's a 48 watercolor set right here it's a creative studio and yeah this is what i used to well i just swatch all the colors there just so i know how it looks like and then this is just a sample just like a quick one like didn't even take that seriously but yeah so that's how it looks right there it says some brilliant and bright colors completely water soluble perfect mixability of bright and dark shades highly pigmented detachable palettes easy to clean or easy for cleaning with a high quality water brush yeah all right so this is how it looks yeah so when you're outside you can just insert your finger right there but it says quite too big to be a travel palette well it depends on the person who's using it but for me maybe not um yeah uh this is where my initial swatches e. <laughs> all right so yeah this is how it looks and that's supposed to be a water brush oh okay didn't use that but so these are the colors they're like very nice bright and beautiful yeah, and it's quite good. And I like this part because they have this, um, what do you call this one? Metallic colors right there. A row of metallics on the lower left. And then four on the lower right are neon colors. So pretty nice. So th those are the swatches for that. But I will do a separate video for this one instead. And this one was gifted to me together with this one, the Faber-Castell watercolor pad um i have used this already and yeah i think i have a painting right here yes there you go i have a painting right here and i used all um this palette also only this palette to do this painting or just this sketch a watercolor sketch right there so that's all for this fabric castle for now and i'll do a separate video for them the sun is about to set i should do this quickly and so lastly um from my current art supplies art materials is this one and it's um sense acrylic color or 12 colors in 12 ml tubes and it says that this is from stockholm sweden by sense for selling abe yeah so it goes like this or rather like this all right and the colors or swatches should be like this but this one is acrylic instead so i didn't buy a professional grade yet because i wanted to try this one first you know just like to try them out and familiarize myself and then if i like it i will venture more on the acrylic side i have been doing some acrylics and i have videos of acrylic pouring instead and used amsterdam paints but yeah this time is for for those tiny ones if i wanted to do some like little paintings using acrylics then i probably would be using this all right and now finally to the pro levels so this is my first palette or rather i ordered these two both at the same time but this one arrived first so yeah all right so this is the sennelier la aquarelle and this is made in france it says extra fine from um, french artists watercolor it's honey based luminous and rich color palette of the impressionists so this one is special because it has 12 plus 6 so it's 12 on the top row and has six free colors at the bottom so it's a very good price for this got this also from amazon that's how it looks so i research about this about 
a week of watching so many videos, reading so much vlogs about this one. And yes, there's a lot of other brands that are coming up so soon too. But first, let's talk about the Sennelier. All right, so this is how it looks. And it has this part where in, um, you can insert your finger and then you can like you use it when you're painting on like a bigger canvas or whatnot and when you're traveling. It's very simple like so. It's a matte black. It has Sennelier on the lower right corner. Nice tin can box. Looks sturdy. Um, has a little bit of weight onto it. When you open it, it looks like so. This part is uh, will serve as a pan or a mixing pan. And then when you open this flap right here, then you have an extended more pan right there. We have Sennelier here in the middle. And then these are the collars. Very nice. So there's the collar number. And then the color names are right there also. That's super cool. So yeah, that's how it looks. I will be needing to swatch this on a different video instead, forgive me. But I think I will be searching, um, inserting rather a swatch of this one just so you will be able to see it. But I have to do it on a different day. So yeah. This is how it looks inside. Um, some of the palettes, you have to unpack them one by one. But this one, you don't have to. Not a problem because it goes like this. Um, some of them could be popping and that's quite normal. But once you put water onto it, it will expand and it will fit on this um, small half pan. That's how it is. And it's super cool because if you wanted to add more, then you can just um, grab yourself six more of the half pans. There's space for like three in there and three on the other side. And then you can put other brands or if you wanted to try other Sennelier colors then you can buy their tubes or their half pants and then you can refill this stuff and then you have an entire kit and that is actually my plan instead i wanted to grab this one and because i wanted to try out the colors if there's a color that is my favorite and um i used it up then i can just easily um buy a tube and then replace it or hand pour it myself or try other colors that are recommended by artists or something that i have tried and swatched then i can just go ahead and put them all in there that's my plan it's really nice to have uh, this one right here but of course i will be removing this because it will get dirty and then transfer it on a swatch paper i will do a better one and that's how this one looks All right, Fierce family, um, this is Elizabeth editing from the future and I just realized that the footage for the Daniel Smith, the original one from last year, is not available. So this is me one year after and I will be showing you what's inside here. All right, so this is how it looks, the Daniel Smith Extra Fine Watercolors, Colors of Inspiration. It says that it has 12 hand poured watercolors in half pan, set in a metal box, and there are 12 empty half pans as a bonus and they're free. And that's what we see here on the photo. So this is the box. That's how it looks. And some information about the colors are here, mostly just the name and sample swatch. And yeah, it says made in Seattle on both sides over there. All right, so it's a little bit beaten up since I have been using this quite a while, putting it in and out of the box. But yeah, so this is how it looks. And this is the metal box we have. Daniel Smith logo here on the left corner. It says Artist Materials, Seattle, Washington, USA. At the bottom, we have the usual ring here. So you can hold it like so when you paint outdoors or when you're standing or whatnot. So this is how it is when we open it. I forgot where this one is exactly. Uh, I'm not sure was it showing like this or was it on top well I think if it's like similar to the Sennelier it will be like this 
So here are the colors that we have here. Cadmium yellow, medium hue, quinacridone rose, wisteria, rose of ultramarine, moon glow, shadow violet, phthalo blue, lavender, cascade green, serpentine genuine, green appetite, and quinacridone gold. And to be honest, when watercolor companies create a set, we don't get a choice and most of the colors that they put in there it's not 100 percent the things that we like but this ones i really like the colors that were chosen in here especially um, the most that i've used is the wisteria and lavender which i have moved on another palette that i have been using and the quinacridone rose very beautiful cascade green serpent and green and green appetite genuine those three i have I have no bad things to say because they're so wonderful yeah so that's what it is in here and then I have already uh, used the bottom part um, there's one extra in here so that was like um, 13 in there and then there's one slot here for another half pen so this is how a half pen looks and I labeled them since I moved the pens and at the bottom there is a Daniel Smith in there which I really like about this half mint. These are the initial swatches that I had and it was so much fun swatching them and yeah that's the colors that were originally in there and this were the first 12 that I added but it's not the exact one that's there anymore but yeah it is such a fun wonderful palette and I really recommend this one especially for beginners with Daniel Smith those who just wanted to try the brand and are not sure of which colors to choose I think this is a safe bet and then yeah the nice first set from daniel smith and if you wanted to see my current daniel smith watercolor collection head on to my video watercolor collection 2023 it's there at the very end of the video i saved daniel smith on the last part as well but yeah thank you so much for watching this video so there you have it everybody these are all of the items that i have shared with you today and i promise you i will do a separate video about them and if you have a video request let me know um yeah i will be starting my journey and i just wanted to document the first items or the first um watercolor supplies or art supplies that i have through my journey before the semester starts <laughs> i'm just super excited to do this um fashion sketches and uh, fashion design using these items and of course doing some other watercolor styles on the side as I wanted to grow as an artist and I wanted to practice my craft. So thank you so much for watching and see you on my next video. Remember.